how you doing how you doing how's your mom doing what's up everybody y'all heard about what happened friday at 12 o'clock a uh at midnight that uh this james holmes guy went into the theater in uh colorado and stood at the damn exit door threw a damn uh gas a gas grenade like a, a smoke grenade and, and smoke up the theater and got in front of everybody started shooting and I, and, and, and it's it, I just don't get this dude and the guy they say the guy from his hometown was a smart kid everyday everyday kid never bothered nobody he's like he's smart and intelligent and like this and they said was he went to school and then he was about to drop out and the day before he said uh, they said it was that Holmes appeared stone cold and carrying two black bags into their apartment this is from a a neighbor a neighbor that in the part that lived in apartments he said he carried two black bags into the apartment building a day before the killing a day before the killing, then they said Friday, Holmes drove to the theater. Was the screen of the show, the Batman, the Night, the Night Rises, Dark Night Rises, and he was dressed all in black, hair was pink, uh, red. He called himself the Joker. Now I ain't, I ain't trying to be like a smart ass to sound silly, but the Joker had green hair a white face and red lips that was the joker plus he dressed in purple and green not to sound like a funny know-it-all or smart ass and i think the story is fucking sad as hell because he killed 12 people and injured 59 people in the damn theater plus the people over in the next theater and it was kind of fucked up how he did it man because of what i don't know this guy's crazy as shit he had a assault rifle, a shotgun, and a forty a forty caliber Glock pistol with him. He said he opened the fire uh, door on the sold out theater began when after the movie began. Uh they said they called nine one one started to come in at twelve thirty nine. That's what they said that the calls called uh started coming in at 12.39 a.m. In the end, 71 people have been shot. The police chief said officers found homes in the parking lot behind the building as of Friday afternoon. Ten bodies were still in the theater. Now, I feel bad for the parents. And I definitely feel bad for the kids because there were some young kids in that theater, young as 10 years old, dressed up as... Uh, Batman characters and so was the teens and the adults and it makes no sense that he did this what was his motive the gunman he was uh, in custody but it was unclear whether he was recuperating or like I don't know like his first court appearances on Monday fuck this shit man this, this is why I think it's fucked up with a court doing the weekends and all like it, but hey, he gotta wait till Monday. Motherfucker, don't you think prosecuting his ass to uh, on Friday would have been better? He killed twelve motherfucking people and injured fifty nine. And you tell me that oh it's okay. Let him. S no, that's fucked up to me. There was people helping people out. There was. There was people helping people out of the theater. There was a guy with blood on his shirt. There was actually a guy that helped a woman get her kids out of the theater. Theater. Like, like, and I think it's more fucked up because you hear more shit every day. It's getting to a point where nobody can't go out no more. What happened? What was it? Uh, a postman lost his job at the post office. And he went post and shot it. Well, that's a punt, but I'm sorry about the punt on that joke. I mean, on that story, and I mean it's a joke, but on that story where a postman goes back to his old job and shoots it up, go postal.
then it was the guy that went into a hotel and blew it up and then there was a what was it uh the little rock case the kids going to school shooting them then it was the columbine case then it was the virginia tech case and then it was the 9 11 case and then then you see kids then you see this you see this guy going into a theater shooting up people like you ought to question yourself what's really going on in the world where people can't go to the movies or do anything outside their home a guy an elderly man that lives on the other side of town where I live elderly man went outside just to get the newspaper just to get the newspaper shot and killed on his doorstep just for going to get the paper to me people say oh I'm not scared to go so you're not so people say I'm not scared to go to the theater so you're not scared to go back and let this happen again to me hey man I'd rather wait for the movie to come out on DVD or something man cause I don't want to sit there sit there and go to a movie some crazy ass foot like James Holmes coming there and shoots it up again like I heard this story Friday at 4 o'clock on the news and then uh, after I heard this story and there was another incident where a guy on the other side of town walked into a check cashing place not in Arkansas not in Colorado but not in Colorado but down here where I'm at he goes on a walks in the check cashing place or loan place whatever he walks in and says give me all your money and they gave him the money the next thing he know was he left the box on the counter he got carried a box in just walked out with the money the same what was in the box he just walked out after he walked out man the people the, ple uh, the employees called the police the, ploy, uh, the police called the bomb squad just to see what it was and they stood there the whole day and there was bombing that box they hear two stories in one day about how fucked up this world is where you can't do anything outside your home where it's just as much as dangerous as it is in the home than outside the home true but you don't hear motherfuckers walking up in your house carrying bombs do you? no but it, 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 it's fucked up to this guy walks into a theater and shoots up 50, uh, 71 people 12 dead 59 injured and, and I, I just don't get it man well, what is really going on in this world he paints his hair red and he sits there and dress all in black and calls himself the Joker. Dude, if you're going to call yourself the Joker, make sure you look the part before you call yourself a character out of a fucking comic book. You got Mitt Romney bitching about the character Bane that was made in 93. Now you got some crazy whacked out motherfucker calling himself the Joker. What's next? I'm waiting for a damn bitch to come out and say he's Robin. I waiting for other motherfucker to come out as Holly Quinn, or another motherfucker coming out as Superman. You know, we don't even know. You got motherfuckers bitching over cartoon, over fucking comic book character. You got one thinking he is a uh, comic book character, and you got another motherfucker bitching about Bane. Like, what is really going on in this world where, where you can't go to a movie and sit down and watch it without somebody? shooting you there's families still searching for their child they haven't got any word of their child is still alive or not this is sad I'm going to put the story in the description box below but I just don't get it why why would anybody do this shit man that's just to me that's more fucked up as ever man I wouldn't do shit like that I wouldn't what point is you trying to prove to the world? Like I may, I'm, I never, I'm, I actually posted up on my Facebook and my Twitter. If you follow me on Twitter, y'all probably saw. But I posted up on Twitter and my Facebook. I said, "Batman, the night, uh, Dark Knight Rises must have sucked that badly for somebody to shoot, to kill people, kill twelve people." And that's what I thought. I was like, "Damn, the movie." When I say, like, 
killing at a theater at on the at the Batman movie. I said, damn, the movie must have sucked that ass for this guy to really go off and shoot everybody. I, I say, you got one bitch sitting over there killing her baby over Facebook, and you got another motherfucker killing her, killing people over but fucking Batman. You tell me what's going on. You tell me what's going on. I did a video about a bitch leaving her fucking child home alone by herself. Don't that sound like a fucking movie? Home alone. I, I just don't get people, man. I, I just don't get these people no more. Like, do you really want to go out to a movie where somebody can come up and shoot you in your fucking face while you're enjoying a fucking movie? What if, what if you're going skating? Somebody can come in there and just start shooting people on skates just because they felt like it. Oh, I'm gonna go skiing. I'm gonna go swimming. Okay, after many body counts in the swimming pool or skating, you, you, uh, to, I I just can't. To me, I it's just weird and fucked up, man. That this guy once goes into a movie. I am the Joker. <laughs> what? 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 What what makes what made him I wonder what made him want to go off and kill people in the theater. Smart as hell. Like they say, man, it's the smart ones you gotta watch out for. Because they the ones that wanna do crazy shit. It's the geniuses. Like he's they say he was so much of a genius. Not genius but smart as shit. I, but I tell you this, man. I tell you this, man. It's like this. To see and hear about kids dying in the theater because some whacked out fucker didn't have a reason why and just killed somebody. To me, that's pretty much fucked up. And I would never do shit like it. And it's pretty, and it's kind of scary, man, that you really got to watch your back when you're going to have some fun out in the world. Like, you want to go swim and you're going to go dance. And you can't go dancing because there's somebody shooting off in the damn club. You can't go to the bar because there's somebody shooting up in the bar. You can't go to the movie because you got some crazy-ass fuck shooting up in the movie. You can't go skating or swimming and all that shit. Really can't do much when you got crazy ass fuckers ready to sh shoot the kill. Man, I want to know what y'all think about this, man. Do y'all really think that this guy should get leniency? What should fuck it? Do you think this motherfucker should get mercy? Do you think this fucker should get mercy? To me, I think he needs to be on death row right now. Twelve people putting kids in harm's way over a fucking movie. Come on now. Oh, you can say, oh, it's not over a movie. Look, nobody knows his reasons why he did it in the theater. The movie might have been bad. Or oh, he might have had a point to do it. But, but that's how it is, man. I want to know what y'all think about this, man, because it's really, really make me think that this is really bullshit on how some person walks into a theater kills 12 people and wounds 59 people and cause one thing is I never think that going to the movies be so damn dangerous I never thought yet yeah, for real I never thought going watching a movie it would be that damn dangerous in my lifetime and people still want to go. This shit can, this shit can happen again. Oh, Afro Joe, you never happen again. Never say never, man, because they're always the ones to say you never are the ones to get they shit fucked up. But you don't know it might happen again, and it makes you wonder: Will it happen again? It might happen in your neck of the woods or somebody else. You gonna might even hear if you hear that somebody else did some shit like in the theater. Can't sit there and say Afro Joe didn't say nothing. 
But like I said, I want to know what y'all think about this situation because to me, I think it's pretty much fucked up and people need to realize, man, it's them smart ones and them quiet ones you need to watch out for. I said, because them smart ones can fuck you up on the spot. Them quiet ones can fuck you up on the spot. But like I said, man, there was some warning signs that people seen before the murders, before the shooting. Now, it's happened, man. Well, this has been Afro Joe 10 like T.I. is again. Know this video short, but hey, I'm making sure. It. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo, my YouTube channel, CeeLo Jr. 2 and CeeLo Jr. 3. If you go on my channel and you see my Google Plus, make sure you add me on your Google Plus. And because that's it. Just add me on Google Plus and follow me on Twitter. It's so on and so forth, man. But just tell me what you think about the topic, man. Just tell me. Peace, love, and Afro-Grease.